What's up, growers? Finally, it's time to complete my indoor gardens extraction system. As I said last time, I need to find a way to channel the air from my two 6-inch Magnum XXL air-cooled reflectors on the left here and my 10-inch hyperfan connected to my fresh carbon filter on the right. I'm going to use more of this 6-inch insulated ducting to channel the hot air exiting my Magnums out of my grow room. This will help to maximize their effectiveness in combating any excess heat. Remember, heat is the number one killer of crop quality especially when growing cool season crops like lettuce, cilantro, or herbaceous species that are native to higher altitudes. Grow lights generate lots of heat, as well as light, so air-cooled hoods can really help you combat heat issues, especially in confined spaces. The first thing we need to do is make holes to channel the extracted air. We've decided to make two separate holes, one for the 6-inch magnums and one for the 10-inch hyperfan. I'm making the holes in my suspended ceiling and then ducting up the unused staircase out to my backyard. My local grow store ran out of the right size duck collars and couplers, so I'm improvising a little today with this Ideal Air 8 to 6 inch reducer. Use the 6 inch side to draw the right size circle. Drill a hole along the inner edge of the circumference for your jigsaw, and away we go! Uh, notice how I'm staying really clear of the power tools. That way we don't um, accidentally make a horror movie, right? And there we have it. One beautiful six inch hole. Uh, just allow the mystery hand there from above to smooth off a few edges. Great job there, buddy. And finally, she's in. I'll use regular eight inch ducting on the other side to vent the air out to the outside world. I decided to go for separate holes because, well, I saw no real advantage in combining the air cooled hood ventilation system with my garden's ventilation system using Y pieces and reducers. You know, it could get a bit tricky to secure it firmly too. I might also want to use my air-cooled hoods hot air to heat my kitchen above during the winter, so it's nice to keep them separate. Okay, 10-inch hole is done. Now my two exit ports are in line with the Magnum air-cooled hoods and the hyperfan respectively, and I still have easy access to my door. Apply some sealer and leave it for 24 hours to dry. Hey, a ventilated indoor garden should always be well sealed. You don't want gaps as this means you're no longer in full control of the air coming into or leaving your grow. Now, it's time to get the ducting in place so we can finish this thing. Let's start with the Magnum air-cooled hoods. As you can see, we have cool air coming in via this insulated ducting. Now we need an extra piece to join them up to the six inch hole we just made in the ceiling. This is where using insulated ducting is crucial as this section will be carrying the hot air. I use some silver flex duct tape, of course, to secure the inner ducting in place. I'm using these Ideal Air quick release stainless steel duct clamps to keep the ducting firmly in place. They really give me peace of mind. Just screw it up tightly and we're done. Now this ducting is clearly going to need some support. Some sun grip fixture hangers are perfect for the job. Uh, I've also found this six inch adjustable elbow by Ideal Air going spare. Seems rude not to use it really, so let's. Of course, I need to just leave enough slack so I can raise and lower my lights as required. I think a cut about here should do it. You'll need scissors to cut through the insulation and wrapping, and then wire cutters for the final snip through the metal. Then I connect up my adjustable elbow. This helps reduce bends in my ducting, which can restrict airflow. There. I now have a fully insulated ventilation system from my Magnum Triple XL reflectors. Just finish it off with a duct clamp, and then I'll attach some 8 inch ducting on the other side of the ceiling later so that the hot air can be vented outdoors. Next job is the garden's main extraction ducting. I'm using Ideal Air regular 10 inch ducting for this deal, along with sun grip fixture hangers as ducting support. An Ideal Air 10 inch duct collar and coupler would have been perfect for the hole, but alas, my local hydro store let me down again. So for now, I'm making do with what I've got lying around. Uh, let's get this elephant trunk in place, okay? Cut to length and fixed in place. Wow, just look at that huge silver schlong. Uh, I haven't got much room to play with, so I'm folding the ducting in to make a nice clean edge. Boy, that's a tight fit. I mean, come on, buddy. Get on there. Huh. Um, well, I guess this will do for now. It certainly illustrates why duct collars, couplers, and elbows are the way to go. I don't like the bend in the ducting, so I'll just put this on my fix list. Obviously, there needs to be ducting on the other side to channel the exhausted air out to the outside world, but hopefully, you get the idea. So, okay, 
that about wraps it up. Soon it will be time to actually start growing in here. Imagine that. Let me know your questions, comments, and suggestions. I appreciate them all, even if you think I talk too fast, but you know what? I love what I do. So, like the hot air in my indoor garden, this is Everest, out. Out.